Alright, this is just a quick overview on how to install your FV4 fixture vise. Your vise is going to come as shown here with the following fasteners, 5 half inch 13 flatheads, um, 4 half inch 13 socket head cap, 2 dowel pins. So the first thing you're going to want to do is remove the top jaw or the fixed jaw from the base. This is a jack screw. So the reason why this is here is when you put your your fixture or your, your fixed base down, sometimes, I mean, it's, it gets kind of hard to match these dowel pins up and all the tolerances. So sometimes it can get kind of, you know, stuck. And so what this does is, let's see if I can show you. This is a flat tip um, set screw. So as you screw that out, it will help push this up. So this sort of um, jack screw is found on a number of work coating solutions. So I've just incorporated one here. So you're gonna put your two pins in first. And then you're gonna put your base down. And then you're gonna put this flathead screw in. This has a little bit of a unorthodox design because you can see it's kind of non-accessible once you put the top jaw on. And the reason why this is here is that as you clamp something, this whole assembly is going to want to deflect back. And so I put this here to reduce the amount of deflection. Now it's less than a thousandth of an inch and I tested it. So you're going to want to crank this down to about 50 foot pounds. This is just for demonstration purposes only, but 50 foot pounds is a nice um, starting number. Then you're going to put your top jaw on. Just so. top four socket head cap screws and the fixed jaw itself also includes um, a jack screw it's smaller at quarter 20 I'll show you in a minute so your other jack screw is right here and this will help you lift this up in case you need to fit a screwdriver or whatever so you can pull this off and then just like the base, you're also going to want to tighten it with a torque driver, a torque wrench. 50 foot pounds is um, a number that I like to work with, with these size bolts. Now the next step is to install your fix or your moving jaw. Sometimes I help. I find it helps if you you put your finger in the finger hole or the finger slot and you press down on the wedge. It kind of lifts up the jaw like that, so it makes it a lot easier to slide it out. Now on the bottom of the base, there are these two dowel pin holes, and this was just a suggestion by a beta tester. Um, you could put dowel pins over there to make it a more rigid assembly. I haven't found that it's needed, so. Um, that's just what those are for. It's optional. Next, you're going to put your flathead screws in. You don't really need these back screws. But if you have the room on your plate to install them, it's a better practice yeah. crank to about 50 foot pounds or just hand tighten not as crucial for the moving jaw so again it helps to kind of push this wedge down like that so now you can see the the dovetail nut has a lot more clearance and then you just slide it in like so 
and you tighten this down. 50 foot pounds again. And generally speaking, that's about it. Um, some people have asked, let's see if I can get this off. Some people have asked, what are these back screws for? And I'll show you in a minute. Basically, if we look underneath, these screws go all the way to the moving jaw. And this is what makes the moving jaw move back on its own. See, it's basically spring-loaded. So as the moving jaw goes forward, it compresses that spring inside. So when you loosen here, the, the wedge, it's gonna want to, the spring is gonna want to push out this way. And that makes the moving jaw move back on its own. So you have to keep pulling back your jaws by hand and sometimes it scrapes up your, your hands if you, if you have to do that with other, other work holding solutions. Um, another feature that I want to show, so there's kind of no confusion. A common question I get is, um, do these work with standard four inch crit jaws? And yes, they do. Standard four inch crit jaw. If you look closely over there, there's a slide. Some people might look at that and be like, well, that doesn't fit standard crit jaws. And the reason why I put this here is if you wanted to put a dowel pin in your jaw, you could have it so that it repeatedly locates in an X. And that's that's pretty much all it's for. I mean, put this in if you, if you always indicate off the side and you just want to swap jaws in and out pretty quickly and you have a set G54 or whatever work officer you're using, um, that's the only reason it's there. Or if you're roughing a lot and you know maybe you're concerned that your jaw might be doing this in 2000s or so, this will help keep it just fixed and locked down. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it. And I, I guess I'll keep on going and kind of um, show you the disassemble. This will demonstrate how um, you could utilize the jack screws. Okay, so I've just about hit bottom. And you can see that it's just easily popped up. Just like that. And for this one. Oh, well, it definitely would help. Don't forget to take this bolt off. You see? I guess this is a good case scenario, but it just comes straight off. And that is about it. That's um, how to install the a description of some of the features on the vice. And thank you for watching.